It's the beginning of a new year, so why not kick it off with a new project? There was a space in our house that was in need of something, and a bench seat was what we thought would fit perfectly in this corner. I've seen a ton of examples online, and it seemed like something that was fairly simple to build. This would be my first time building something like this, and uh, I was quite certain I'd have it built by the end of the day. I could have not been more wrong, but I'll explain why later in the video. To start, I put tape on the floor to mark out the size of the bench just to get an idea of how much material I would need. The bench is going to be L-shaped, and each side was going to be used to store stuff, so the seat section would have to be attached to hinges, allowing it to open and close. And after a quick trip to the best place on earth, I got started on the back section of the bench. I also have no idea what I'm doing, I'm just kind of winging it as I go along. The bench on this back wall was 5 feet long, so I just cut two pieces to the length. My method here is to attach the first 5 foot 2x4 to the wall at 18 inches high since this was going to be the height of my seat. I made sure to factor in the thickness of the board on top plus the cushion we're going to add at the end, leaving us with a seat roughly 20 inches high. And that reminds me, one thing to keep in mind is that you want to make this as level and square as possible. That 2x4 that I screwed into the wall is slightly higher on the left side due to the floor being a little uneven. If I didn't fix this, it would have been on level by about a quarter inch, which isn't too noticeable, but enough to complicate things down the road when it comes to the finishing touches. This 2x4 essentially acted as my guide for the rest of the build and was also a main support since it was screwed into the studs in the wall. Once that back piece was set, I started making the front of the box. All I did was cut two 5 foot pieces that would attach to two legs, which were around 15 inches. I added some additional supports in the middle and the front frame was done. Oh my god! Wow! The width of the bench was going to be 20 inches, so now that I had the front frame built, I simply measured from the wall 2x4 to the front of the frame to find the placement. I took the inside measurements and cut the pieces that would connect it all together. I also threw in legs beneath the 2x4 at the back and added additional cross supports. Constantly checking to make sure things were level and square are key because like I mentioned before, it can come back to bite you at a later stage. The left side is done, so now to build the right side and tie it all together. This is where I called it a day, as it was getting late and like I mentioned at the beginning, I highly overshot how long this was going to take me, but it's okay, I should have it done by tomorrow. Are you sure about that? I just repeated the exact same method here. Only difference was that this side was a tad longer than 5 feet. Since I was winging it, I placed supports and screws wherever I felt necessary, and by the end this thing was strong as fuck. Jeez.
And there it is. The bench is all framed out and now you can get a better idea of the actual size and shape of it. Up next was a task of covering the front face of it all with wood, which we decided to go with MDF boards. MDF is typically cheaper than plywood and gets the same job done. I don't think there's a real right answer for which to use, but this is what we did and we were quite pleased with how it turned out. For the trim, we also used MDF that was half inch by four inch that was already painted white. Then there was the seat portion. For this, we went with a sheet of white particle board. We chose this primarily because it came in the exact length we needed and we couldn't find MDF that would work. Honestly, it was a long story, but the particle board worked out perfectly, so that's all you need to know. This part was way easier than the bench framing. I simply marked my lines where I needed to cut the MDF and brought it to the table saw where I made my cuts. Same thing on the other side, just mark my lines and cut it to size. Up next was to attach all the pieces to the frame, which I did so using a nail gun with inch and three quarter brad nails. Once the base panels were on, it was time for the trim. Like I mentioned, I'm using half inch by four inch MDF since we wanted something minimal. I attached these to the surfaces with wood glue and a few brad nails just to hold it in place. I'll admit, I kinda got carried away and put way more nails than I should have in some places, so that's my fault. The less nails, the less holes to fill, and the less noticeable it'll be. Knowledge. Some of you may have also noticed, I made a stupid mistake in three spots because honestly, I just wasn't thinking. The first was this corner. Since I overlapped the front piece, it essentially now makes the perpendicular piece half an inch longer. To fix this, I should have ripped a half inch off that piece before installing it. The other two mistakes were on both corners of the bench. I shouldn't have put that right piece of trim tight to the corner because now it's about half an inch smaller than the left one that's overlapping. All three are very minor and aren't super noticeable unless you really look for it. But hey, like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing, so are we surprised? After all the trim was done, I used this wood filler to fill all the nail holes and joints. The final major task at hand was the seat, which I'll be honest, I forgot to film a majority of the process. Basically, we were using these hinges that we got from Home Depot and attached them to the particle board. Just like that, bench complete. Remember when I said I'd have this bench finished in a day? Well, today is day three. <laughs> the last thing left to do was to paint the entire thing white. We gave it a good sand off camera and started with a first coat of primer. Once the primer was dry, we gave it two coats of white paint, which I also did off camera.
And that's a wrap on the bench build. It took three days to complete, and for someone who's never built one before, it turned out quite well. It's a cool new spot in the house to hang out at, and it's already become someone's favorite. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.